so the peonies have opened up. They are this beautiful like fuchsia pink. So stunning. I know some of you wanted to know the colour and wanted an update on them, so here they are. Absolutely love them, they're so beautiful. Got some tomato plants here, and then down there is some catnip. These are some nasturtiums, they're so beautiful. And a completely edible plant, so you can eat the flowers, the leaves and the stems. And then in the greenhouse, it's so hot. I've been in here this morning, so this is super warm. Got my peas, so you can see some pods. <clears throat> my carrots. I think they're doing okay, I don't really know. Um, my one indoor potato. And then I've got a squash here. I tried to pollinate this but it hasn't grown so I don't know if it's um, actually pollinated which is a shame but I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Got a cucumber plant, some lettuce, basil, it's doing really well, it smells amazing. I've got chilli plants up here, some more tomatoes, and then those are some peppers or chilies, I can't remember. I've got beetroot down here. Then in the back, I've got some more. So that one's a pepper, that's a chili, and that down there is a strawberry. Over here, I've got another tomato. That's another squash. Back here is a pumpkin that Jody gave me. Starting to get some flowers. I don't think any of them have got fruit on. Oh, no, they do. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So these ones over here, the little, the little bud. I think those should be female, so they should fruit, which is very cool. Um, this is a cucumber, sort of trailing up. Um, I've got another squash back here, but again, that one doesn't have any fruit on it. I think it's just all males so far. Oh no, there's a fruit. There's exactly that bit there. Yeah, it's gonna fruit. Um, another cucumber. That's a tomato and a chilli. They both need potting up into bigger pots. Uh, a different type of tomato that was free in my garden centre and um, some more chilies, another tomato this is the squash that I successfully pollinated this is my first one and this one worked you can see the fruit on there and this one's got loads of females as well so I'm going to have to pollinate that one today super exciting my mint plant is doing amazing, it smells incredible. Some more chilies that need potting up, and there's my rocket. And so while I'm in here, I'm just going to pollinate my squash. And to do that, I just use a little paintbrush and take the pollen off of a male flower. So here's the female plant. I've got some pollen on my paintbrush and I just need to put it in here and that should pollinate it and then hopefully if it's worked it will start growing like this one quite quickly and then I've got some outdoor squash so these are the same ones, I just brought them outside, but they haven't got any fruit on. Onions, some tomato plants, that one I need to tie up. Some more onions. This is some more catnip for mouse. And eucalyptus. And then we've just been sorting this bed out. 
So we've weeded it, kept everything we wanted, put down a barrier and then put down some gravel. And then here we've got my magnolia tree, Vicks cherry tree, some primrose and my hydrangea, but we ran out of gravel. So we need to get some more gravel and finish off. This is our last veg bed, so it's at the back of the greenhouse. And I've got my water bat, just got some potatoes, some onions and a squash in here for now. Just a little garden update for you. Um, I'll show you my sunflowers as well because I'm quite pleased with those. Just got some more potatoes and some tomatoes. And my sunflowers.